bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey, yo, it's your boy Atomic coming to come and shoot with another Bullet Echo video, and today. We're gonna be hopping into some games with a maxed out Angel. She is my favorite SMG hero to use in the game at this moment in time. I personally would argue that she is the best SMG hero in the entire game. The only other argument could obviously come from Ghost, but I really love her abilities and having all of her abilities maxed out you guys are about to see some amazing gameplay here today but as always what we're going to be doing in today's video is going through her statistics and her abilities as well as the gears i have equipped before we hop into two games of the solos and two games of the 3v3 battle royale and in the comment section down below let me know which hero you want me to play as next we are going to be going through every single hero in the game and maxing them all out covering them in their own individual videos so of course i want to go through the heroes that you guys want to see first but nonetheless, let's hop right into today's video. So as you guys can see, Angel obviously has the submachine gun. I've got her sitting at a power level of 1584. That is right, 1584, 419 health, 1046 armor. That's actually quite a bit, especially for an SMG hero. And her gun does 174 damage. Starting off here, the reason why I say that she's the strongest SMG hero in the game is the shield ability. On the ability activation, the hero creates a mobile shield. The shield has a durability of 20 and stops damage from most weapons for 7 seconds. This is obviously very obnoxious because you can block yourself off, take no damage, and just initially go for trades over and over and over again. Her gun has a little bit of ammo in it, but every single time you want to go through, shoot a whole clip, you've got enough time to reload, and shoot an entire second clip before the shield goes all the way down. If you just play near the cracks, the small areas of the map, and use corners, you essentially get free shots on your opponent all day long, especially in the 3v3s, to take them down and get the kill. Right here, we have the stim shot on ability activation. The hero loses the ability to shoot 4.5 seconds. We get plus 30% to the hero's movement speed for 6 seconds, and it restores 40 health per second to the hero over a 6 second time span. Very standard healing procedure right there. Her protective matrix, this right here, in addition to the shield makes her so broken so the passives you get plus 20 percent to the hero's maximum armor plus three to the hero's primary weapon clip size which is very essential for this hero you get plus 20 percent to the hero's primary weapon damage and then on hitting an enemy you get minus 75 percent to incoming damage for only 0.5 seconds but that's actually really good especially when you continue to hit your enemy allowing you to take those 50 50s pretty well and you also get plus 33 to the hero's armor so whenever you go into a fight you want to start off by popping your your shield and then allowing your passives to do work even when the shield goes down as long as you continue to hit your enemy they're going to be doing less and less and less damage to you with all of these passives and then finally we finish off here with the recycle we get plus 50 percent to the primary weapon damage against enemy armor for allies within a range of 400 and minus 30 percent to reloading time for allies within a range of 400 obviously for the skin here we're rocking that black mm -hmm. widow angel it is so clean can't wait to get the battle angel unlocked as well because i think that this is the sickest skin that she has overall <laughs> and then finally for the gear we are running the entire skeleton set starting off with the eye part we've got minus 25 percent to the hero's primary weapon spread and plus eight percent to the hero's movement speed for the heart part we've got plus 12 to the plus 12 health per second to the hero and plus six percent to primary weapon damage against enemy health we've got the arm part which gives us plus five to the hero's primary weapon clip size and minus 25 percent to the pickup time for upgrades and then finally we finish off with the leg part which gives us plus seven percent to the hero's maximum health and minus 14 percent to the hero's running loudness so now that we've gone through all of our abilities what we're going to do now is hop into those two games of solos and 3v3 battle royale so you guys can see just how amazing angel is when you have her fully maxed out so here we are into the very first solo we're going to start off with a four grip we've got a uh, shield to start the game off as well so if we have to go for a pistol fight we'll go for one with our shield and he's not going to be able to do anything about that so that right there is why you love to have a shield in this game uh we'll get some a magazine armor everybody's fighting holy oops oh man that was an intense start to the game so now everybody sort of backed off the first kills have went down they're still going at it what the heck
I'm like full sprinting right now. This is the kind of confidence I have whenever I play these heroes like Angel with the shield. <laughs> Bastion? We take it all. We, we able to go head to head with a Bastion? He has the shield ability pop there as well, but the difference, the huge difference between Bastion and Angel shield head to head. Yes, Bastion has more health. Yes, he has more armor. And if it does come down to a final tiny circle, yes, he has the advantage, but she has the speed. She's got the protective matrix and I'm able to engage and disengage really quickly while doing more damage because her gun hits a lot harder than Bastion's LMG. Into the battle royale, we've got a Freddy and a Firefly. We're able to get some ammo right here. I'll take... Honestly, he can have that because he's a sniper. I'm going to key him. Teammate's going to pull up now. Dead and one more. Quick dead. Quick squad wipe. I'm going to grab the ammo. I'm going to grab Freddy. Go help our other teammate. Man's taking fights when we're not even there. the entire game holy they kept on pushing everybody was sort of playing in that small room there i was kind of terrified because i saw the slayer and he pulled up and hip fired our teammate right back onto the ground if he hip fired me that would have been bad because our teammate was already one shot i think the sparkle i think that was the sparkle would have taken him down and it would have been a 1v1 between our teammates but able to use the shield really well there and the protective matrix got us our health back in a lot of those fights there as well into the next solo we're gonna start off with a little bit of ammo here hopefully we can find some armor this is that big map to where it's like whatever you spawn in with is what you have. We got some armor. That's good. Now we just got to stack our ammo. Hopefully there's some more on this other side of the wall. Nope. So I think we end up fighting right here. I'm pretty sure. No. Okay. We'll get... Explosive rounds, we got four grip too. I'm not complaining about that. I'm so surprised there's not someone on this right side. They must have rotated right as well. Didn't need it. It's my instinct. We'll go ahead and pop it off. Let it load back up. For a second, like I just like immediately, it's like, why not, you know? You have it, no need for you to risk it in case he was looking at me there. And Satoshi is strong too, don't get it twisted. They're all going at it. I'm trying to play the last guy. Oh my goodness. Invis, here we come. Let's go. Let's go! They were sitting in the store. Who was left, bro? I think there was probably like the ghost and the stalker, right? I'm playing that circle there the whole time, dancing around the bastion, thinking, where is this ghost? Where is this stalker? I know for sure you guys are going to pop out. If it wasn't them, then I do believe it must have been like a Levi or a Slayer, and they mistimed their thermal or something. They used it too early, too late, and they weren't able to push up. But picking up another win right there in the solos. We've got double sparkle. I mean, I mean, I mean. That's the new meta, bro. That's kind of crazy to me. I don't think I've ever had two sparkles on the same team like this before. I'm about to see if this works out well. I don't want to underestimate him before we start. Nah, it's 
Slayer. Kind of, I kind of want to go push him. Nah, it's too late for you. That's a clean team wipe right there. Team of thermals. So glad we were able to take them down like that. I think they're getting thermal down right now. Huh? I'm gonna go hug him. Go hug my sparkle teammates. And we are just gonna play this one together. Y'all tank all the damage for me with all that health? Thermal. Always. I'm gonna take care of the Levi first. Dead. Textbook. Always gotta go for the back line. When you know their team has someone that's sort of sitting back there vibing and using the thermal, usually, I mean, obviously it's the Levi's or the Slayers. I'm gonna go take care of them first because even if I were to kill the Sparkle, I would give her enough time to use her thermal again and just beam us down through the wall. So that's gonna be it for today's Angel video. I hope you guys enjoyed the max gameplay from her. I really do enjoy playing her as a hero and a lot of the times I will be hopping into games with her when I'm seriously trying to go on a win streak. I'll usually rotate between like her, Slayer, or, or I'm sorry, her, Stalker, and Mirage. But I mean, this hero, try her out, get her upgraded. She is worth all of the batteries and the coins to get her up to that ultimate level. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope you go on and enjoy the rest of your day.